How's it going everyone? I wanted to make a very brief video on the Krebs cycle in case you're taking the test tomorrow or in a couple hours or maybe even a couple days from now and you don't want to memorize the entire thing. As a disclaimer, I think it is important to know as much about the Krebs cycle as you can, but I wanted to make this video for anyone who is stressed out about having to take the test um, in a shortened time period. So some of the most high yield things they test on are first and foremost, the products of the Krebs cycle. So it's really high yield to know that there are two molecules of CO2 released. And knowing where these are released in the Krebs cycle can be helpful, but just knowing that there are two can get you at least a little bit of the way there. Next thing that you may need to know is that there are three NADH molecules made. These are going to, of course, go into the electron transport chain and help us make some ATP. There is one FADH2 made, and there is one ATP or GTP, depending on how you look at it, directly made. There is a GTP that's directly made, and then it is converted into ATP based on another enzyme. Another thing they like to test on is that succinate dehydrogenase, an enzyme of the Krebs cycle, is also complex to in the electron transport chain. I've seen that question a few times in practice materials. Another thing they like to test on is that the Krebs cycle will be inhibited at certain trigger points, namely a few enzymes, by the products that it makes, such as ATP or NADH. So the Krebs cycle is going to work less hard when there's an energy-rich state, and that's going to be when there's high levels of ATP and NADH, which makes sense. You don't want to keep necessarily working hard if you have a lot of the products of um, whatever you're making already. And then finally, knowing where the Krebs cycle occurs in the cell is very high yield. Know that it occurs in the matrix of the mitochondrion in eukaryotes, and perhaps a little lower yield it occurs in the cytosol of whatever um, cellular organism or prokaryote we're looking at. So that's um, where it occurs in prokaryotes. And that's it. 